What started as a peaceful demonstration soon took a turn for the worse. Protesters shouted their insults across a river. Others showed their anger from a nearby bridge. Some managed to break the barriers. The police responded by firing tear gas. It's difficult to keep the eyes open. It's difficult to breathe. But there is a hardcore bunch of protesters around here that say they will resist until the end. They are overturning chemical bathrooms. They are throwing, uh, they're finding anything to throw back at the police as missiles, such as rocks. But resistance seems futile. But the tear gas kept on coming. Much of it fired from close range, directly into the crowd. They had come from all across Italy to the small town of Chiomonte. They fear that plans for a high-speed trail link will turn what is a pristine valley into a massive construction site. I've come from Milan to say no to the high-speed train, no to wasting public money, no to putting money in the hands of the mafia and no to useless construction, which will destroy such a beautiful valley. Protesters claim the authorities' tactics are brutal and illegal. They fired tear gas. I can feel it in my throat. It was forbidden even in war by the Geneva Convention. So why do they use it on innocent civilians? The project is part of a major trans-European rail network that will connect Lyon to Budapest, passing by Turin and Ljubljana. It is partly financed by the European Union, which hasn't confirmed yet the investment of more than 600 million euro. Italy and France are expected to approve the project within days, but protesters are hoping the EU will also pay attention to their voices. Claudio Lavanga, Al Jazeera, Val di Susa.